All right, so today we're here with Fabio from Cirque Oil Tank Removal, and he's going to give us a little bit of information about uh, the necessity behind removing oil tanks right now, how the bylaws work, and what the process is if you have an underground oil storage tank at your house, or if you're looking to purchase a property that has an oil tank. Hello, so the first step in, in the tank removal is we'll come out to your property with a metal detector to locate the tank. We'll scan the entire property. If we do find a tank, the second step is we start to excavate down to the top of the tank, expose it, look inside the tank if there's any liquid inside and if there is we'll cut the top open of the tank pop it out clean it and send it off to an environmental plant Step three is to basically cut the tank in half, remove from the ground, and then we check the soil to make sure there's no contamination. And that's done with an environmentalist. So we take five soil samples, test the soil. If they all come back clean, we'll refill the hole, refill the excavation, get it back to normal, regrass it, reseed it. If there is contamination, we'll typically have to dig a little further. We'll start digging out on the outside and the perimeter and going deeper and chase the contamination until it ends, and we'll retest at that point. If that all passes, then we fill the hole in give a passage certificate to the end of that. How do the oil tanks affect uh, insurance? Typically any property with uh, oil tank, will, the home will not be insured. So they'll, they'll force you to have the tank pulled out. What about if you find a tank under a patio, sun deck, uh, those type of incidences? If they're under a patio, we can still remove the tanks. We'll typically remove the, 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 the paving stones with a cement, we'll make a nice cut around the tank, remove it, and typically re-cement it afterwards or place the pavers back. Okay, one other question. If, uh, if contamination was leaching underneath the foundation of the property, what, what steps can be taken to remediate? There's a couple steps. Number one is you can dig up the foundation, you can leave it and treat it with a chemical, which is called bioremediation. It's a high-impact fertilizer, which will treat it over the years. Or secondly, you can dig under the house, block the house up. It's a much more complicated process, and start tunneling under the house and remove the contamination. But that's typically not done. It's usually treated with bioremediation. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thanks.